global markets have been on a negative terrain for the last entire week. This is primarily on account of the increased concerns on the global earnings. Uh, the second one being the comments made by the U.S. president, which has been taken negatively with regards to the U.S. and China trade relations. And the third and one of the most important one has been the China GDP data that has gone to about 6.2%, which is a 27-year low. This has uh, given a significant negative scare across the global markets and specifically Asia and Europe, which has been into deep cuts for the past entire week. The Indian markets have also taken cues from the global markets and has been trading negatively during the last week. However, it has been trading in a band of about 187 points. 187 points. On the downside, it has a low of about 11,590 odd levels, while on the upside, it has touched a high of about 11,706 odd levels. However, it couldn't sustain that and it closed the week at about 11,596 odd levels, uh, just being up by about 0.12% for the past entire week. The negative concerns in the Indian markets have been the Q1, uh, uh, Q1 results for the IT sector, which has not been good, uh, as well as the high provisioning which has been done by the private sector banks. There have been fresh provisionings across some of the private sector banks, and that's not been taken positively by the Indian markets. The indices that did well in the Indian markets for the past week has been IT, which was up by about 1.87%. Pharma was up by about 1.39%, while that didn't do well was auto, which was down by about 2.77%, and PSU banks was down by about 2.98%. In the coming week, we expect the Indian markets to uh, be uh, negative. Uh, we expect the markets to be volatile, primarily on account of the Q1 results, which is expected to be negative. Auto has uh, specifically been negative, uh, as well as the uh, the global markets, which are which are on the negative side. Uh, however, the downside looks limited, uh, primarily on account of the retail inflation data, which has come at about 3.18 percent, which is significantly below the RBI target. And, and and on account of this, we expect a rate cut in the coming monetary policy. So that would expect that would limit the downside in the Indian markets. Uh, in terms of our stock recommendations for this week has been Dabar. We have a target price of about 498 odd levels on Dabar with a with a stock loss at about 395 odd levels, signaling an upside of about 16%. In a in a market where uh, in the in an economy where the consumption sector has been sluggish, Dabar has has bucked the trend. Uh, they have given a significant uh, volume growth for Q4, which has been up by about. 4.7%. Overall revenues on a year-on-year -year basis have been up by about 11%. So Dabar has been uh, quite positive in, in that context and uh, the uh, the Indian uh, budget has also given positive stops for the rural sector and Dabar has accounted for 80-45% of its uh, earnings from the uh, rural sector. So they have a significant focus in that area and they would benefit from the Indian budget uh, uh, outcome for the rural sector. Also, Dabar has been uh, uh, right on their on the product mix. Their preferences of the consumer has been changing, and Dabar has been aligning with that. Uh, so overall, that's been positive for the stock. Uh, in terms of the valuations, Dabar is trading at about 51 p, while the industry is about 56 p, uh, and they have a high ROC of about 28.3 percent. So overall, the stock looks positive for the year. That's our recommendation. Thank you.